Hickok 45 here with a little comparison going on between the SIG P365 and the FN Reflex. So why don't we just go ahead and get started? One, two. <laughs> Yeah, let's just shoot both of them. Why not? Do a little comparison. Where are you, cowboy? <laughs> yeah, okay. Video's over. That was the comparison. <laughs> they both work. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, in the uh, video on the FN Reflex, I... I couldn't put my hands on my regular P365. I did have the uh, XL handy. I thought, well, I just, uh, the Hellcat is so similar. Uh, I'll just uh, kind of have it for a little comparison. And, uh, but after we did that, the more I thought about it, well, you know what? This little P365 is probably, uh, I guess, still, as I say this, the most popular Micro 9 out there, I would guess, in terms of how many people have them, you know, in their holster or pocket, uh, no telling how many of these they've sold. And so it's kind of the big elephant, you know, really. So let's just do a little comparison of the two. And besides, guess what? I carry a variety of different things, and this is one of my favorites, one, one that's in the rotation, everything. So I need to know for myself, which of these I like better because I really have been lured to this FN Reflex. I like it and I've not shot the SIG a lot lately. So what your job today is uh, to do is to help me make a decision on which really one of these or Micro 9 that is going to be in my rotation. Okay, so that's what this is about. That's the most important aspect, what I'm going to be carrying, not you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so... Uh, still got the uh, FN, of course, uh, bought it. And uh, so, yeah, let's let's just put some more. I got mags loaded. Of course, I just have two mags for the uh, FN that came with it. And, uh, you know, in terms of comparison, let me uh, just start out. The uh, There's not a lot of difference, okay? These things are very similar. They're very similar in price. You know, I don't know, somewhere between five and 600 you're going to pay. They're 18 ounces plus. They're very similar in weight, feel. And look at this, uh, yeah, P365 uh, holster, this is the Alabama holster, yep, that's for that, okay. Yeah, they almost, they almost won't have one, I don't know if Alabama holster has one yet for this, but they won't have to do much in terms of changing it, because it's almost the same holster. And so, that gives you an idea too, doesn't it, that they just roughly the same size, both have nice big uh, trigger guards. They uh, both have nice serrations, uh, you know. Uh, I'll say I like. I think I like the the grip as it comes better on the uh, reflex. It's got I don't know a better feeling grip, a little bit bigger than the P365. Now I've improved it by putting the Talon grips on it, of course. So so it, this actually feels better in the grip than this does. But that's because of the Talon grips. If I took those off, I'd be saying the opposite. Okay. And uh, uh, the P365 is just itty bitty grips, and these are small, but I feel like I get a better grasp on it, and there's just enough meat, uh, just enough more meat than is on this one that I like this better. Okay, but it, again, neither one is a, a problem. Uh, there's, it's a simple fix, put some tape on it, wrap it up it, or not, whatever your preference is, and uh, that's fine. So they're just very similar. One of the biggest differences is the trigger. And, and, and again, speaking of uh, Alabama holster, we appreciate their support. Got one right here. I was going to use it. This isn't really for either of these firearms, but it, you know, just to have something to stick it in. This uh, flapjack uh, belt holster, I got right like those. But I appreciate, uh, you know, the support we get from Alabama holster. I've been using those for a long time. Uh, so, uh, as I was saying, this, the biggest difference is, let me just shoot them a little bit more, is uh, the fact that this one is hammer fired. You know, it's in, internal, but it's hammer fired. And as I show, I'll link to the main video. I don't need to take it apart, I guess, in this video. It just, there's a hammer in there. It, there's, well, you can see the gap up in there, and it goes up in there and hits the firing pin. So it's not striker fired. It has a beautiful trigger. Okay, beautiful trigger. And, uh, 
the resets are a little longer maybe than on the uh so you get a little bit longer trigger reset uh primarily i guess because it's a hammer fire but it's not a problem uh than on this one so let me get that mag out then on the p365 yeah it's it's very very short reset okay so yeah that that's one of the differences and again that relates to the striker fired versus hammer fired but I, another thing though that relates to the hammer fired i guess is the fact that it's a beautiful trigger oh man the break the, the wall the break exactly the way i like it the nothing wrong with this one either but it's more your standard striker fired trigger okay nice trigger it is fine but boy this one's a, a dream okay not a nightmare a dream you got night sights on the front of both of them uh you know and well in the back too on this uh, i don't i guess there's just white dots on the fn but and they both come down neither, neither of these is cut for an optic but uh, they're available with optics so you know there's just not a lot of difference now this one did have some issues when it was introduced as you recall uh, you know, primer drag, it, it just had to have some uh, tweaking. Apparently they have fixed that. Although you'll see people still around the internet, you know, bad mouthing it and having problems or, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. It's hard to know from the internet, right? But, uh, but there, there was a problem with it. It was a problem and that they apparently kind of fixed that. I don't know of any with this one, but the, the one difference here, you gotta make sure you get that thing all the way back before it's cocked. Is it, you can just pull it back a ways and it's not cocked. They go all the way back hard to cock it. And uh, it's a little different. Uh, this one's probably a little stiffer spring. Okay, the P365. Again, partly because it's a hammer fired. So you got a different spring set up and it's a little bit easier to pull back. All right, let's shoot it. Again, I got to make a decision. And I, and I just am not sure. Now, I don't have to make a decision, fortunately, on which one to own necessarily right i could buy them both but you know when it comes down and many of you could too but it comes down to what am i going to carry which one do i prefer right so i'm going to be kind of feeling the recoil impulse this time around okay i'm going to kind of focus on that cowboy do you mind if i shoot you again okay well that's fresh on my mind let me grab the other one can't tell a lot I saw somebody really thinking uh, that the p365 had more jump and uh, muzzle jump but yeah, I don't I don't see that I really don't I, they seem about the same to me so but you know that's a matter of people's just perceptions you know I might be very wrong but they feel they feel very 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 similar I can't I can't uh, I can't say one of them feels like it jumps more than the other so yeah, there you got that. Uh, and you know, they're just both nice, nice firing, both from uh, reputable companies. I think what I should do is try some hollow points in both of them. What we got, yeah, these are some underwoods. Let's put those in there. And which reminds me, I appreciate, we appreciate wideners.com for their ammo sponsorship. So we're able to use a lot of different rounds here. Uh, 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 we've uh, bought some from Underwood. They've sent us some and uh, same with Steinel, so it's a nice having a little variety here. These are known as hollow points, right? So, and these would be, see how we took that out of the box, 147 grain jacketed hollow points. Okay, so you know what I'm slinging over there. Those are just full metal jacket, uh, standard 124 grain rounds I was firing before. It's pretty important that they feed hollow points in it. Let's do that in both of them. And uh, we, you know, I'm not sure if I done that with. I guess I did with the uh, FN. I know I have various times with the P365. It will fill it up. It doesn't matter. All right, let's shoot the 365. Make sure it's still combat ready. It will feed a hollow point without any trouble. 
What about the gong? Let's, let's open one up on the gong if we can. Okay, I didn't hear many hits. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try this thing out there. Uh, need to shoot that thing more, maybe. Okay, let's try something here. I don't know if the gong is resting against that post. It's not making much sound or I'm just missing it. That's weird because I was changing my sight picture, uh, elevation <laughs> with both of them. So, uh, oh well. Uh, yeah, so of course they're gonna feed hollow points and uh, at 80 yards, it's not important what they do, right? Uh, but. Do I have anything else loaded? I'm going to try this thing again out there. I don't know what is going on with that. A little bit off topic, but I just want to hit the thing. I want to hear it. I want to hear that steel. <sighs> there we go. I think I was just shooting too fast and not not focused. You know, that happened. Yeah, that, that can happen to any of us. We just have a little trouble hitting what we want to hit sometimes. All right. Look at that thing. I wounded it. I wasn't even shooting at it. <laughs> I think he had too much beer. That's funny. Uh, that is a uh, lesson. Yeah, that is a, a lesson though. Uh, shooting steel is, uh, as long as you're back far enough, you just, and it's hard steel, it's flat, no edges. You rarely have any issues with anything coming back. But of course, things are going downward and sideways, so you get little bitty pieces going out, and that's an example of that. Because I wasn't shooting at anything near that, right? Okay, so what do I think? Uh, I don't know. I uh, I think I like the feel of this thing better. Uh, it just just feels good. Uh, let me uh, let me let me try it. Uh, one more round before I'll let you go. Didn't mean to take this long. I just wanted to uh, do a little comparison here because uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about this FN. Uh, several have asked me if it would replace my beloved P365. And uh, I don't know. It could. It really. I don't own one <laughs> yet, so I won't replace it for a while. The, uh, this is some Steinle I'm going to shoot. The, uh, by the way, the, now this is the 15 round mag and it comes with an 11 round and 15 rounder. One thing about the advantage of the P365 having been out longer, right, a good bit longer, a couple of years, three years, however long it's been out, is you have all the models available. You know, if you want the slide with the slide cut, you want the XL, you want different colors, they're just out there. It's been a lot of time. And the magazines are out there. There's uh, the ones I'm shooting mostly here are the 10 round mag. There's, a, I think, a 12 round. There's a 15 round mag. And now I understand they have a 17 round mag for it. Wow, 17 round magazine. So, uh, you know, you've got more options right now, but that will change, I would guess, you know, with that fin too. Okay. So let me shoot this one more time. I might, I might have a decision for you here. I don't know. Okay. It's got a nice, uh, you know, matchup on that magazine that longer mag then okay let's see if I can settle down with this one too and hit the gong get my brain working here <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, okay. Sometimes what happens is, uh, you know, I'm just too dumb to make the transition. You know, you're messing around here and you're, you're, doing, you're shooting stuff that's up close and all that. Then you go over there and you start, you start just slinging bullets. Uh, so be, be aware. <laughs> Uh, and I thought I was kind of taking my time, but I really wasn't. So, oh, my last round. So, uh, anyway, just so they both will hit the gong. <laughs> just wanted to verify that. So, I don't know. i tell you what. I'm leaning towards this thing still. I really am. Uh, this FN reflex. I'm leaning towards that. Um, unless I were to uncover... Uh, some something negative about it that I've not uncovered yet. So y'all let me know because I've not laid money down for one yet. I know this will, uh, has a Picatinny rail. It doesn't have a proprietary rail like the SIG does. I know the difference. Uh, but the biggest biggest difference, I guess, is the, the feel of the trigger and the ability to shoot this thing, uh, you know, really uh, in a precision fashion. If you take your time, uh, really really nice trigger feels good and it you know, FN yeah, it should be made well so I'm leaning towards the FN right now and uh, but but boy you can't go wrong with either one can you but basically same price range same weight uh, just uh, the capacity not enough difference to write home about and they both are reliable uh, great little little pistols uh, a couple you definitely want to look at if you're new to the pistol market carry pistol, small pistol market, micro nine market. Uh, these are a couple you would want to shoot if you can somewhere to rental range or somewhere. So that's all I got to say, I think, uh, on that topic. So I'm gonna let you go. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here, also uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.